Rick, was that a little bit more what you expect or what you've seen from Chaz? Uh, yeah, and uh, I mean, first, it was a really good opener for us. I mean, I mean, an extremely, extremely well coached team that, uh, and we knew that coming in, they were going to do what we thought, and they do it well. They adjusted at the end where they were just driving it, putting their bodies on us, taking us down low. And um, defensively, I thought we were okay for the most part, other than, you know, what we gave them with turnovers and second chance points. But I say gave them, they, they went and took it and made, made good with it. But uh, the fact that they showed different defenses was, again, great for us. Uh, and I thought for the most part, our guys handled that okay. Uh, other than the last five minutes, I mean, the last five minutes, I didn't think we were very good when too many guys that uh, weren't aware of the clock and the situation. I don't, I don't care what the score is. Just playing the game the right way. We didn't do that very well in the last five minutes the way we needed to. But uh, Chaz has the ability to, to do that. Uh, I thought Jordan was terrific coming off the bench. and. He gives us such a spark, and we got Z's minutes down where we would like to have him because Jordan is a guy that can play multiple positions out there. And uh, but uh, yeah, Chaz, I thought he really tried to work hard defensively for the most part. He had a couple breakdowns where when the post guy started going in there, and he kind of stood and watched and let some guys sneak inside of him to actually offensive rebound. And um, but he'll get better. Uh, we all have to get better, obviously, but. Uh, they're, they're a really extremely well-coached team, and they play hard, and their point guard was terrific. I mean, he just played outstanding basketball. I was going to ask about Jordan. Just What's the most different about him right now compared to this time last season? I think he's gotten better in a lot of different areas. I mean, he, he has really become one of our best uh, players in a ball screen situation. Uh, he, he, I think he's a guy that can score at three levels. And uh, defensively, he's working at it uh, to get better, like all players have to. He's very unselfish. Uh, he's gonna, he's always team first guy. And uh, he should be confident uh, in everything that he does because of the time and attention he puts into the details that we want. And, and uh, but he's a, uh, again, he has improved so much. In, Ball screens and and uh, attacking the rim, those type areas. Rick, how do you assess how Felix played tonight? He had two points and four fouls and three turnovers, but he gave you nine rebounds as well. How, how do you view that? Honestly, it's probably since I've known Felix, it's probably the toughest day he's had. But to not make excuses, but to tell the truth, he, he's got a, a really pretty serious hip pointer. But he absolutely refuses to come out of practice and play. And the game, I mean, he's going to play. And I thought he was uh, slow getting off the ball, which he's not normally slow at doing that. But I'm really proud of the fact that, I mean, I know, he, I know, you know, I mean, if you ever had dealt with a hip pointer, you know what it's like. And I mean, I can show you filming practice where he's almost trying to protect it with his hands. And, uh, but uh, again, from a production standpoint, since I've known him, this might be the worst day he's had. And uh, but he'll he'll work at it and he'll get better. I mean, offensively, I'm talking about more offensively. Defensively, I thought he tried to do the things that we asked him to do. Rick, also regarding Jordan, what does he do for you now with this different confidence? How does that affect Sakai? What you can do at point guard and, and overall offensively? Uh, what do you say? How it was with, with Jordan, with his improved confidence, how does that change what you can do? Well, with it point changes. Guard? It changes a lot because the fact that again he he can some we could actually get Z off the ball a little bit and uh, uh, Jordan uh, he's been around four years and he uh, just does so many. Uh, you know, he understands how we want to play for one. I don't think he forces things. Uh, I mean, I don't. I think he's starting to understand exactly where he needs to get to on the floor with his, his spots, his space. Uh, I've always mentioned that the game is about space and knowing where to attack for yourself to be effective. And there's no doubt he's figuring that out more and more. And uh, he's just working hard. And, and uh, he's working hard on both ends. and. He cares a lot, and the fact is, uh, I think he can get better. 
Coach, the transfers have been part of the game for a few years now. It's the first time you've had three in the starting lineup. Because of that, you think it's going to take maybe a little longer to get the co cohesiveness you want on, on well, both we're, ends? We're, we're a different team. I mean, we're a whole different team than we were a year ago, just what you said. I mean, we're, we're a young team in some ways, other ways, and, and we're young in the fact we haven't played that much together. I mean, you think about it, certainly, you know, you got two guys – Three guys, you know, uh, Jordan, Zakai, and, and Jemai have been in high-level games, Elite Eight games. They understand what it's like. Those other guys have no clue. Now, we got guys that sit on the bench and watched it uh, until they get enough time out there to run and play. Like, I thought Cade really settled down more in the second half, and Cade can be a, a very effective player for us. Uh, but. And then you bring, you're talking about the transfers that come in. It's, it's new to them. It's all new to them. The level, what we expect with our on the defensive end and, again, on the offensive end, putting it all together. So we are, we, we realize this is a whole new team. It's got a chance to start a race on their own. And we talked about that before the game. And, and now we go on the road uh, purposely to play a team that we know that's going to be an outstanding team and see what we can do to, uh, Continue to build to get better. We got to get better, and everybody knows that this time of year. But other than the last five minutes, there were, there were a lot more positive than negatives. But I, I want to play 40 minutes mentally, the game the right way. I, again, making shots that might, might not happen, but in terms of making wise decisions and understanding the value of the ball, those type things, we ought to be able to do that for 40 minutes. Defensively, you got to respect the other team for some of the things that they did, like tonight, their point guard did a terrific job. I mean, he really did, and and uh, they battled. They played hard. They never stopped playing. I was so impressed with – I thought their, their bench stayed with them throughout the game, and uh, and uh, they – there's no doubt they came in here with the attitude that they knew they could beat us. And the way we uh, worked the game early I thought was really good from our point of view. And then when we had a, a big lead, we showed that we're not ready to – be where we need to be because uh, they kept playing in, in a smart way and, and we didn't. And so, again, give them great credit. And it's my fault uh, at the end of the game when we don't play the way that we do. That's on me and it's up to me to fix it. Coach in the back here, uh, you mentioned the last five minutes and how they were changing different defenses on you. They threw a zone at you guys. The ball kind of got stuck. What do you want to see differently from your offense? Better decisions. And understand you can't come out of timeouts and just throw the ball away, bouncing the ball in there, and knowing when you go for the big play, the explosive play, and when you don't, players can't just break out, go one on one, spin, dribble, lose the ball, just not understanding the clock situation, and all that. But we'll we'll fix it. Uh, Coach Luther was talking in the back here. Coach Luther was talking about how cool this experience was for his program. When you've got guys like Chaz and Igor who are also playing their first game in an environment like this. Is that something that you have to talk to them about before? Or they, do, do you find they get that out of their system through the off season, the bigness of a program like this? No, you got to play these games. And, and again, I think our guys, I mean, you think about it, those guys came from this level, basically, if that's what you want to talk about, if you're trying to, but the levels don't matter anymore. I mean, I, I mean, those guys, again, I could talk about them all night with their schemes, what they were doing, and how hard they were uh, trying to get done what they practice. And, and again, you always <coughs> love watching teams when you've watched film of them going in and you see them coming out really trying to continue to execute what they're trying to do. And and they're going that team's going to win a lot of games. And then they adjusted. The coaches did a good job. You know, we were really trying to work hard at trying to run them off the the line, I thought he did a really good job of when we were jumping heavy gap, throwing back over top, getting downhill that way. Just little subtle things that, from a coach's standpoint, you really appreciate. And there's, uh, and then they were putting their head down some, just trying to just kind of just bully us. Not bully, but, you know, just play with a lot of progression going downhill. And then, you know, late in the game, we adjust a little bit. We don't want to give up threes. And uh, we want them to obviously have to fight for tough twos. And, but uh, it, it was a, really it, it, this time of year. Again, we work hard at trying to schedule the right way. Uh, it doesn't do us any good to schedule someone at, on paper that we're supposed to beat by 40, 50. It doesn't do it. Games like this help us, regardless of 
even when we were up 27, 28, whatever it was, our guys learned tonight that other teams have a lot of pride, a lot of heart. They're not going to they're not going to stop playing. And again, if they had if they had made that push more around this eight nine minute mark like that, it'd have been a, who knows? They could have cut that lead down. And you think about it, ended up winning by uh, what was it? Fifteen. That's five possessions. That's all that is. Five possessions. And uh, so I, I give them a lot of credit for how hard they fought when they were down that they didn't. I didn't think at any point in time they teetered. I thought they kept doing all the things that well coached teams do. And, and we got the lead and we didn't. We didn't play like a well coached team. And that's, again, that's my fault. Last one would be the hands I've seen out. Ryan, Grant, Wes, Bruce. How would you assess y'all's rebounding tonight? Well, I thought we had some. And again, obviously, when they, you get in there and you start uh, backing down, pushing, all that, there's. A lot of balls that break loose like that, but uh, we thought they would be a good rebounding team because we knew they were going to drive it hard and we were going to have to rotate and out of that rotation get back to try to block out those type things. But uh, it's not up to the standard that we have to have to go where we want to go. Any update on D Stone when he might be back involved? Or it's, it's it's timetables with him right now. You know, we're, we're leaving it up to him. He's around. He he's still here with us every day and. We just want to make sure he knows that we're there for him and everyone around has been. But tough time for him, uh, just personally, that uh, he, I think he's dealt with it for a while. But uh, we love him to death and we just, again, we miss him. But uh, it's up to him that uh, it's all on his time. Rick, with the, I guess some of the, the setbacks or injuries that, that J.P. Estrella has had, how much as that sort of cut into getting him where you want him to be right now, and when can he maybe become that the player well, that? First of all, I was really proud of him because he at the shoot around today he he didn't go through shoot around with us, and so that was if you talk about a game time decision, because I told Bob Kessling during the pregame radio thing that we do that uh, he's not going to play, and then I come out of there we're actually in the film room and we get a text that JP wants to go, which I think is a major step. For him because uh, is he 100 percent no but i thought his minutes were valuable for us tonight and to get to the shape that he needs to be in he's gonna have to do things like he did tonight because if you just sit it's not just gonna happen it won't just happen and the longer the train starts rolling and he's not a part of it the harder it is for him to catch up and he can be a real force for us if he can just get healthy stay healthy but i'm proud of him because he Again, not 100%, and he, and he fought through it. Last one for Coach in the back here. Uh, I'm sure you guys track deflections. What makes Jemai's hand so quick on defense where he gets all those deflections? Well, he's an elite defender, and he doesn't get credit for that. I think if more people had kept up with deflections, they'd, you know, at the end of the year, everybody wants to probably vote defensive player of the year based on steals and things like that. But his deflections and his – I mean, he played – you know, we play small ball with him because we think he can guard anybody on the court. And, uh, but he's got really active hands. He, we've talked about fix-it guys. He's one of those great fix-it guys. And, uh, but he's just – that's what he's, he's great at, it, and he, and he takes great pride in it. You know, he wants to get his hands up, be active, and uh, we've got to get more people doing it. But that will be a, another great thing from the film that we can show his teammates where you can impact a game by just doing that. All right, thank you guys.